We're here at the Browning Cretaceous Fossil Park in uh, Baldwin, Mississippi, in the northeastern part of the state. This is a park along a stream here. You can come dig for fossils uh, at about 75 million years old. So we're going to see what we can find here. This is directly along Highway 45, uh, and there's a parking area down here, and the main area is underneath the bridge. So this is the stream and we can walk down along through there. The water's a little high right now, but I'm gonna go in anyway. And there's all these large concretions you can see in the stream. And apparently underneath those is like the best place to uh, look for the fossils. Our tools for this are mainly this sifter here that we've constructed. It's just a metal grate supported by some PVC and a shovel, which we're going to dig up the sediment and use the sifter to sift through. Uh, waders, because water's a little chilly still here in April, and just a container to put anything that we find in. Oh, we've been digging around here a little bit and best productive spot I've found so far is on the other side of this this concretion here. Some of these other ones haven't turned out so well. And the middle of the stream is actually pretty deep right now. It's hard so it's hard to do anything out there, but this is basically what we're finding. Uh, a lot of debris like this when you dig up and these are all different kinds of fossils. Um, there's a piece of a tooth it looks like. I found other shark teeth um, that I've already collected. I'll show you in a bit. But yeah, these are all different kinds of fossils. A lot of these are, then there's mussel shells, which those are just from the stream. Like this is a fossil of some sort. So after I don't know, searching for a while, found a bunch of these kinds of fossils. Not exactly sure what these are. Uh, these are pretty common. And some of the smaller stuff and of course some of these shark teeth and that's about it it's uh, probably a little bit more difficult now with the water being high but it could be easier in the summer and also this has been open for quite a while so it's probably picked through not as easy to find stuff as it was in years past as i was about to leave um this guy came up and gave me this guide to some of the fossils uh, in this area and apparently the guy who wrote this is willing to identify things so I mean I'm no fossil expert so it's kind of hard to tell exactly what I got so you can kind of look at some of these different diagrams with like, these shark teeth here and you know try to figure out which species these went to and you know some of these other things like this looks like a sponge to me and this looks like remnants of um, of uh, snails or some other mollusk bivalve. It's uh, only only so many things in here, but it's uh, you know it's a start to understanding what you've collected.